Hi guys, um, excuse my wet t-shirt here, my hair has been dripping on it. Um, just a quick one. So something came to my attention today and this is not to criticise but just to make you aware and point out that this happens quite a lot. Okay, It can be difficult to get the information that you guys need. That has become super clear over the years. Um, you know, surgeons often don't tell patients the risks and side effects of removing lymph nodes from their body. People don't know what lymphedema is sometimes or what symptoms to look out for or the fact that having lymph nodes removed puts you at risk of this. Um, and for the rest of your life, you know, that's not going away. Lymph nodes don't grow back. Then the really simple techniques that I teach clients that I've been teaching in my 14 years of practice, all the stuff that you need to do at home, including simple lymphatic drainage, or it's often referred to as body brushing. Now, when I teach my clients, one of the first things that I say to them is watch out for stuff that you see on YouTube or on the internet, because people don't know what they don't know. And it's not that, people want to give incorrect information, but I'm just gonna give you an example. Um, so it was brought to my attention today that one of my old videos has been used in an article on um, a website that is like a support group for people with lymphatic issues. Um, there was no mention of me in the article. It looks like potentially I'm the person who has written the article, but the information in the article is not aligned with my video at all. My video is demonstrating how to perform body brushing if you've had lymph nodes removed from under the arm, but there's no mention of a damaged lymphatic system in the article. Um, it talks a lot about, you know, the condition of the skin and how body brushing improves the condition of the skin and how you should sweep with long strokes towards the heart. One of the first things I say to my clients is forget that. If you're treating something in the lymphatic system, you're not concerned with where the heart is. You're concerned with where the lymph nodes are. And we always want to move one small section at a time because otherwise you're trying to force, if you imagine your arm is like a straw that's hollow, that's full of fluid. If you try and force all of the fluid from the fingertips tips all the way up the arm, it's a lot of fluid to move. Move it in small sections, bit by bit, much more effective. Um, and I know this, my mom has been managing her own lymphedema since day one, um, super successfully. She has only ever needed me twice in about 20 years. You know, I know that this stuff works uh, and I've always taught my clients this. Another thing in the article that I was a little bit alarmed about actually was a mention of it's normal if the skin goes pink. This is a massive red flag for me. I would never suggest that my clients continue brushing if the skin goes red. If you have a part of your lymphatic system damaged, the last thing you want is irritation in that area. If you're using a brush that makes your skin red, the bristles are probably too firm and you should stop. So again, this is not to criticize guys. I just want to point out that you don't know what you don't know. And please always go to a therapist who is trained in helping you to deal with a damaged lymphatic system. This is the really important part because how you deal with a damaged lymphatic system is not the same as a fully intact lymphatic system. So get in touch with me, please <laughs> help me to help you. Get in touch, learn everything that I can teach you because I am a specialist in this area. I have the experience, the qualifications, um, and I have seen it working and I know that it works and I teach my clients all of this stuff. So um, please keep that in mind, okay? Be aware of Dr. Google and just remember that you don't know what you don't know. So whoever is presenting the information, maybe they just don't know these bits and pieces. And that's not their fault. Uh, it's, you know, they just don't know what they don't know. But I know. So please don't hesitate to book a consultation or a consultation and tutorial with me to learn this stuff because it works, it will help you, and I will teach you the correct way and safe way to do it. So please feel free to reach out with any questions as well. And I'll talk to you guys soon.